Right, hello everyone, it's Matty from Active Newcastle here. Just hope you're all ready for Tuesday's circuit. So we have a good circuit set out for you today and I'm just going to explain how it's going to work now. So we have six exercises. We're going to do warm up first followed by six exercises. We're going to do 45 seconds on each exercise. Like we did last week, at the end of every exercise, we're going to go with 10 knee lifts. We get a little 15 second rest, then we're going to move on to the next exercise, yeah? Do two laps of the circuit. So a little, little warm up to start with, six exercises. Remember, we're always going to do those 10 knee lifts. We did it last week, so I'm going to follow on from that, what we did. So I've got a good one lined up for everyone today. So I'm just going to let a few people get ready, get joined in the room. Just ensure that we've got plenty of space in and around us. There's a little bit of travel, a little bit of movement in today's session as well. Um, but what I do want to say is obviously just to make people aware of, you know, if we are joining in, you know, we can't see the exercises that you do at home. We can't see how you do them for techniques. So if we are joining in, obviously we do so at our own risk. And um, we will give adaptation. They'll always give different alternatives, different things which you can do. But just ensure you, you work at your own level, you know, and if you feel any pain, any discomfort, stop the exercise. And if it does continue, then obviously seek the, the appropriate medical advice. So just going to give people a little bit to get into the room. So if you're just joining, well, welcome. I'm Matty. And if it is your first session, I've got a good one lined up for you today. So there is a few people coming in the room, which is good to see. So 30 minutes of hard work we're going to do. So I have a really good lined up. Work at your own level. So you will hear me say that a lot. Make sure we have a water bottle with us and also we might need some weights, some tins, something which you add a little bit of resistance into the exercise. So on that note, if we're all ready to go, fast forward half an hour's time, you'll be smiling. In the meantime, you mightn't be depending on how hard we work, but we're going to get started. So first thing I want me to do, find ourselves a spot in the floor, feet shoulder width apart, backs nice and straight, always ensure that we have good posture. And first thing I want to do, just march on the spot. Nice gentle march to start with. So we're not lifting the knees that high. I'm not swinging the arms through. We're going to warm up. Then we're going to go straight into the circuit, straight into the fun stuff. So as I'm marching, first thing I want to do, just roll the shoulders back. Everything we do, you can also do in the chair as well. So there's always the chair there. I'll show you some of the alternatives. Roll the shoulders forward. So nice and controlled to start. Just give the arms a little shake off, give the legs a little shake, just ensure we're nice and loose, nice and ready for the exercise, and march it out. So first little change from the march, we're going to go to heel digs, plant the heel in the floor, just show you from the side there, so it's nice and relaxed, plant the heel in the floor. Now what I'm going to do is test your coordination, we're going to go opposite arm, opposite leg, so little bicep curl with the opposite arm. So while just joining, we've just started the warm up. So we're going to do a gradual warm up, little stretch off, go straight into the circuit. Change with double arm curl. How's everyone feeling? All feeling all right? Should be starting to breathe a little bit heavier, but that's the aim of the warm up. Get ourselves ready for the main stuff, ready for the hard work. March it out. Take the march a little wider. And then what I want to do, plant the feet on the floor, shoulder width apart. You're going to bring your arms out in front. Keeping your hips and knees facing forward, turn to your left hand side. Back to centre, opposite side. Back to centre, drop the arms down, just do one more turn each side. To centre, opposite side, centre. Shake the arms back on the march. So as we're marching, we're just going to start to take the knees a little bit higher, start to swing the arms through. Couple of deep breaths if we need. Back to heel digs, double arm curl. Our next little change, we're going to change the toe taps, but what I want you to do, chest press the arms out. So we're going to try and keep the arms shoulder height if you can. If you do need to drop the arms at any time, always keep the feet going. It's more important that we keep the feet moving all the time. Bring the arms in if you want to work a little bit harder. We're going to change the arms to a shoulder press or up above. Exactly the same foot movement, just tap the arms out in front. Up above. Change the out in front, chest press. March it out. So nice to march, get the knees a little bit higher. Now I'm just going to show you if we're doing in a chair, exactly the same. So all you do, copy everything that we do from a seated position. What I want, get the knees a little bit higher, change the knee lift, opposite arm. 
Now, as I said at the start, after the end of exercise, we're gonna do 10 knee lifts before we have the little rest. So just get used to these movements. Change the heel kick. So all we're doing this time, little kicks in behind. Flick the legs up. Now this is an exercise, again, I've got in today's circuit. But when we do it, I'm just gonna show you how you can work a little bit harder if you want to. And march it out. How's everyone feeling? Everyone feeling all right? Couple of deep breaths if we need. Just gonna start to work a little bit harder again. So you're just gonna do some nice quick changes. So we're gonna go back to the start. Heel digs, double arm curl. Change the toe tap with a chest press. Change with shoulder press. So it's everything we've done so far, put together. Back to chest press. March it out. Nice and simple, a little routine, nice and easy. Get the knees a little bit higher. We always love a good posture, so always want the back nice and straight. Change the knee lift, opposite arm, opposite leg again. Now again, if we need to take a little breather, take the arms out, keep the feet moving. Want to work a little bit harder, bring the arms from further around, lift the knee that little bit higher. March it out. Nice strong march. So every time we're marching now, I want our knees a little bit higher. It's a nice strong march. Now we're just going to have a little stretch off. So start with your right leg. Kick your right heel into the floor. Show you from the side. Heel comes into the floor. Two hands on the opposite side. Take a little seated position. You should feel a stretch down the back of your front leg. So back of the leg there, you should feel that stretch. Back's nice and straight, head's looking forward. Now with the leg that's out in front, take a big step in behind. Both feet point in the same direction. Lean forward on the front leg. Nice quick punch in front. Feet together, march it out. So again, as I said before, every time we're marching, it's a nice strong march. Same stretches on the opposite side. So kick that left leg out, heel into the floor. Check on the side, nice and straight, two hands, seated position. Again, heads looking forward, backs nice and straight. And again, big step behind. If your back foot is out of the side, turn that foot in so both feet same direction. Lean forward, this time half jack the arms out. Feet together, march it out. Change the knee lift, opposite arm. Now again, I've said this a few times, get used to these, because after every exercise, we're doing 10 of these. Change the heel kicks, push and pull with the arms, want the arms shoulder height again if we can. All we're doing, kicking the legs up. And march it out. As you're marching, bring your arm out in front, keeping the shoulder height across the body, bring the opposite arm out, a little bit of support, try and avoid the elbow joint, so we're not putting pressure on the joint. Just pull that arm in a little bit. Take the arm up the ceiling, in between the shoulders, just show you there. A little bit of pressure on the opposite arm if you need. Only take that to where you feel comfortable. My feet are still marching, so I'm not stopping the feet. Now again, if you do it in the chair, it's exactly the same. Opposite arm comes out, cross the body, bring the arm up. How's everyone feeling? We definitely should be breathing a little bit heavier now. We will have a little drinks break before we move into the circuit. Arm goes up, in behind again. A little bit of pressure. You might only take to there. Take to where you feel comfortable. Shake the arms. March it out. Nice strong march. Now, because I'm feeling nice today, we're going to do two 10-second bursts. So when I say 10 seconds, all you can do, push it in. Whether it be a little jog, whether it be a power march, whether it be as quick as you can. You decide what you do. Two lots of 10 seconds to finish the warm-up. I'll tell you when. And off we go, 10 seconds, work at your own level, you push it in. Keep going, three, two, one, march it out. So when we're marching, don't stop the feet. Keep the feet on a little march still, shake the arms off. 10 more seconds of that to finish the warm up, we'll grab a little drink. Couple of deep breaths in between. 10 seconds, off we go, 10. Nice and quick, shake on the side. 
Get the knees high, swing the arms through. Five, four, three, two, and one. Well done. Right, the most important thing when you grab a drink, don't stop with feet. What I want you to do, just shake the feet, kick the feet out, tap the feet, anything you want, as long as you keep the feet moving. Right, so, as you're having a little breathe, I'm just gonna explain things. So if you did miss the start, what I was saying, we're gonna do two laps again, 45 seconds. Six exercises, at the end of every exercise, we're carrying on what we did last time. We're gonna do the 10 knee lifts, yeah? So I'll explain the exercise twice through. If you don't wanna take the rest, don't take the rest. Carry on all the way through, straight into the next exercise. After round one, we will grab a drink, yeah? So a couple of deep breaths before we start. Big smiles on the faces, we're all feeling all right. So first exercise, we've done a few times, it's gonna be half jacks, but this time it's with a straight arm, yeah? So out of the side, up above. Now we normally do it this way, change it, so we're doing a shoulder press, yeah? Now if we wanna work a little bit harder, star, star jumps, but we'll still take the arms up above. So it's a straight arm jack this time. Up above, all the time. Now if your arms do start to tire, drop the arms. If you're doing it in a chair, exactly the same, yeah? You decide the level you wanna work it. 45 seconds, we're nearly there. Keep going, last five seconds. So before we get the rest, 10 knees off we go, 10. Do these at your own pace, your own level. Quicker you do them, quicker you get your rest. Off we go. There's exercise one done. Shake the legs, have a little kick. Grab a drink anytime we need. Second exercise is side step. So step to the side, chest press with the arms. Off we go. Push and pull with the arm. Now, we need a rest, drop the arms. Feel a bit tired, drop the arms. Want to work harder? Add a little bit of an impact, a little bit of a jump. So all I'm doing, stepping across, you decide what you do. If we're adding the impact, imagine there's something in between that you need to jump over. If not, don't want to put the pressure on the knees, stick with the side step. Push and pull the arms. Add the arms in whenever we need. Keep going. Go at your own pace as well. You don't have to go the pace I'm going. If you need to slow it down, that's fine. 10 knee lifts, off we go, 10. Keep going. Four, three, two, one. Shake the arms off. This is the first time you need to grab some weights, grab some tins. If you have something, if you don't have anything, don't worry, keep your feet on a march. All I'm gonna do this time is a little shoulder set, so marching the feet, we're going up, out, and down. Little routine, up, out, shoulder height, Drop the arms down, again, shoulder height. Work the way you want. You might only get it up a little bit, that's fine. You might only get it all the way, that's fine. You decide the level you're comfortable with. Nice and wide, drop the arms down. As you see, my feet are always moving, so I'm not stopping my feet. What I would rather you do is drop the arms and have a rest than stop the feet. Last five seconds. Last one, 10 knee lifts, off we go. I'm gonna do mine with the weights in my hands. Keep going. Two and one, have a little drink. Pop the weights down, kick the legs. Take deep breaths if we need. Heel kicks is the next exercise, the hamstring curls, off we go. 45 seconds. So all we're doing is kicking the legs in behind. Now. Ways to progress it, take it into a heel kick, fully, still bring the arms out in front, or just drop the arms. Always the best thing with these exercise sessions is you decide the levels that you want to work at. We can progress it over time, but we can always take the rest when we need. So I'm just done between the two to show you the different levels. Kick my heels up. We have five seconds left. 10 knees, off we go, 10. 
five. And have a little ring, shake the arms. Remember, if you don't want to take the rest, don't take the rest. Carry on through. We need to grab those tins again, those weights if we have them. Second last exercise, then we get a drink. So all we do this time, march on the spot for eight. Eight uppercuts. You change when you're ready. So eight march. Eight uppercuts. Remember, if you start tired, drop the weights before you stop. Eight and eight. Couple deep breaths. How are you all feeling? Everyone feeling all right? I'm starting to breathe a bit heavy. I'm starting to feel a bit warm. Ash, it's definitely doing the job. Last set of eight for me. And there we go. Drop the, off, drop the weights down. Last exercise. Then we're going to be a march on the spot or a shuttle run back and forward. Yeah. 45 seconds and we get a break, off we go. So it's a little shuttle run forward and back. Forward and back and back, yeah? It may just be a walk. Again, it's the best thing you decide. It may just be a walk on the spot if you're happy with that. Giving you different little options we all can do. Drop the arms, keep going. And last time forward, before we have the rest, 10 knees, off we go. Keep going, last three. And there we go, round one is done. Kick the legs off, shake the feet, grab ourselves a drink. Hopefully we're all breathing a bit heavier, we're all feeling a little bit warmer. Grab a drink, it's important. And the good news as always is we get to do it all again. You know all the exercises, so we'll roll straight through into them. All six of those again, same routine, finishing with 10 knee lifts in between. I'm gonna give you a 15 second rest. So grab a drink, get ready. Shake the feet off. So first exercise was those straight arm jacks this time. When we're ready, 45, off we go. So, up above. It's a little different from the coordination because we're used to the other jacks we normally do. Just thought I'd change it up for what the day. And again, if we want to do the jack, it's the same. Adds a little bit of impact on the knees to see how we feel. Anytime we get tired, keep the feet going, drop the arms. Keep that going. Now again, chairs there if we need. We can always start in the chair, stand up, come back to the chair, work at the level you need. Keep going. We've got five seconds left. Four, three, two, ten knee lifts, off we go. Four, three, two, there we go. Grab a drink. Have a little rest, couple of deep breaths if we need them. It's important you work at your own level. Second exercise, side steps, off we go. Push and pull. So we're going with the chest press with the arms. Work a little bit harder, add this step over. Imagine there's something on the floor you're jumping over. And if we want to keep the step or make it harder, take a wider step. There's always options where you can change how hard you work if you need to work a little bit harder or if you need to have a little breather. Having a little breather is fine. It gives you the chance to join back in when you're ready. Keep going. Five, four, three, two, ten knees, off we go. Keep going. Four, two, and there we go, shake them off. Couple of deep breaths. I'm definitely feeling a bit warmer now, so it's doing the job. Get the weights back out. Next third exercise is the shoulder set. Off we go, out, down. I'm not stopping my feet, my feet are always moving. If I need to have a little rest, have a little rest. If you need to drop the weights, do it without the weights, that's fine. 
The weights add resistance, but they're always just an option that we need if we want to work a bit harder, but we don't need to. The other thing I'd say is, you've got your own pace. You might be a lot slower, you might be quicker. Drop it down, five. Drop down, four. You can do, count these down, three. Last two. And last one, out. Nice and wide, 10 knee lifts, go. Are you starting to hit knee lifts yet? Keep going, we got four, two, and there we go. Shake the arms. Couple deep breaths in between. Heel kicks is the next one. Housing curls, add the impact if you need. Add the impact, you're going to be a little bit harder. Remember, you don't have to take the rests. Off we go, housing curls. Change the heel kicks if you want. All we're doing is flipping the legs in behind. There's nothing wrong with chopping and changing between the levels that you do. So I'm just gonna show you this one now to start, but if you wanna work a bit harder, you can. If you need to drop it down, you can. Keep this going. It's always good when we start to get this second win because we're getting near the end now. Get the smiles on the faces. By the end of this, we'll have a big smile. Hard work's done. 10 knee lifts, off we go. 10. Four. There we go. Shake the legs, couple of deep breaths. Grab the weights again. I'm over, never stop me feet. If you watch me, I'm always just having a little flick of the legs, kick the legs. Eight second march, followed by eight upper cuts. Off we go, so eight. Eight. Off we go. You can chop and change whenever you're ready, but eight and eight's a good little cycle to follow. We are starting to feel a bit tired now. This is when we slow it down. As we always say, it's important that you work at your own levels. You do what you're capable of, you do what you're comfortable of. We just try and show you as many adaptations as we can. Keep this going. We're going to do one more set of each. Last eight of our cuts. There we go, shake them off. We are nearly there. We have the shuttles to go, 10 knee lifts, and then that's the hard work done. Little cool down to finish, little stretch at the end. So if you're all ready, last 45 seconds hard work, off we go. So it's a little shuttles, come forward, step back. Come forward, step back. You can't do it as a little run. Or if you want, just keep the march on the spot. Totally up yourself, depending on the space we've got at home. Can change with a little jog. And get these going forward, back. Keep going. We're nearly there. I'm going to do four more shuttles. Four. Three. I'm going to get you working hard, actually. I'm going to walk the last two. And I'm going even slower on this last one. Just to get you working a bit harder. Ten knees to finish. Ten. Eight. Six, four, two, and there we go. Well done, everyone. Two laps complete. Grab a drink, have a little rest, and we will have the little cool down to finish, a little bit of a stretch off at the end. How's everyone feeling? Everyone feeling okay? We might need a couple of deep breaths there. As I say, I'm definitely, no, I'm breathing a little bit heavier and I'm feeling a bit warmer but it's important that we work at our own levels all the time. And march it out. As we're marching, the, the, the arms a little shake. First thing I want to do is just have a little kick out in front. Kick the legs. A Little bit of a coordination test. We're gonna kick and punch with the opposite arm. So what we're going to do with the cool down is just gradually slow things down, we'll have a little stretch off, ensure that we're breathing, just returns to normal as it was half an hour ago. Out in front, relax the arms, we're just kicking the feet. Now as we do that, what I want to do is take a couple of deep breaths, so just breathe in through the nose, and breathe out through the mouth. Now again, we're doing it in the chair, it's exactly the same, breathe in through the nose, breathe it out, one last time, deep breath in, 
Breathe it out. Chins and feet to heel digs. Opposite arm, opposite leg. So again, it's a little bit of that coordination test. Get the brains working as well as the body. Chins with double arm curl. And then what I want me to do, drop back to a single arm. And then again, just relax the arms completely. Heel digs out in front, straight on the side. So I'm just planting the heel in the floor. Tap my heel. And then I'm going to change the feet to toe tap. So this time I'm just tapping the toes in front. So it's just a slightly different movement, but it's smaller movements and I'm starting to slow things down. How's everyone feeling? Oh, if you're right, enjoy that one. Good little circuit, good way to start the morning. Shake the arms off, take them out a little bit wider. And bring the feet back nice and narrow. So we'll just have a little stretch off the finish, like we did in the warm up. Take your right leg out in front, heel comes into the floor nice and straight, keep that leg straight. Two hands on the opposite side, we're just gonna lean forward, keeping the back straight, and you should feel it down the front of the, the back of your front leg. Just gonna hold this a little bit longer than we did in the warm up. Big step in behind. Quick check the feet again, both feet same direction. Lean forward. As we do that this time, bring your arm out in front. Cross the body, bring the arm up. So we'll just do a bit of a double stretch, the legs and the arms there. Feet together, a little march, hardly lifting the knees now. We've done the hard work. So it's just a little bit of a march. Arm goes up. In between the shoulders, a little bit of pressure if you need. If you don't need it, that's fine. Shave the arms off. And again, just a little kick out in front. Same stretches on the opposite side now. And shall we do both sides? So heel on the floor, two hands, seated position. See that there. And again, just hold a little bit longer than we did. Big step in behind again. Both feet same direction, just lean forward. This time with the opposite arm comes out in front, cross the body, bring it up. Just to where you feel comfortable, you don't need to add too much pressure here. Just feel a little bit of a stretch, pull that there. Shake the arms off, arm goes up, in behind, a little bit of pressure. Shake the arms off, march it out, take the march a little bit wider. This time all I want you to do is just literally lift your toes, tap your toes at the front. As you do that, you're going to bring your arms out in front in a circle, look down at the ground, stretch your arms away. Still tapping the toes as you can see. Lift the arms up above, bring the arms down and round, hands on hips. Tap the toes, just squeeze the elbows together. Shake the arms off. Have a little stretch. Plant the feet on the floor this time, drop your arms, just starting on the... Left side, just slide to the left, should feel a little pull on the side. Come back to centre. Opposite side. Come back to centre. We'll do one more time each side, so just slide down. Little bit of a pull. Back to centre. Opposite side again. You don't go too far, just till you feel a little bit of a pull. Centre. Shake the arms, shake the legs off. How's everyone feeling? We'll all enjoy that one. So there is our morning circuit done. Staying workout class complete for the day. Well done everyone. Leave some comments, leave some feedback for which great to get feedback. Let me know how you're enjoying the sessions. If you are watching on YouTube, subscribe to Act In Your Castle. It's free of charge. You'll get notifications on all the upcoming videos that we get from our program now. From the, the, the staying workouts, the move the music, the Tai Chi, the core. We have a whole range, Pilates, so have a little look, and if you haven't been on YouTube before, go check it out. All the Active Newcastle stuff is free of charge. Um, hopefully you enjoyed that one. And um, Well done, everyone. I'll stay on just for a couple of minutes just to read some of the comments because I haven't done that yet. But well done. Hope you enjoyed that one.